Hey everybody, this is Alzareth, and welcome to Ultros. This is a preview build. This is not the final release version. It's going to be coming out early next year, if you guys are watching this around the time it releases. And if you're watching it later, it might have already released early 2024. Now, it is a Metroidvania with some time travel mechanics. I've done a little bit of testing on it, made sure it recorded properly before I started up on a voiced-over version. But it is a Metroidvania, like I said, with kind of trippy graphics, as you can see here. It's it's up there. And oh, we've got that kind of locked off. But anyway, press Y here. We get a little cutscene. I, I, for some reason, like the art style, even though it is kind of weird. If that makes... It's surreal. It's probably the best way to call it. Also, yeah, I didn't notice that before. Anyway, we've got jump functions so far. We don't really have anything besides that. We can drop down here. It's not going to hurt us. It's just, I know my way through the starter area. And hopefully we'll get to the point where I can do some time traveling today. Because it's going to be slightly important for understanding where the game's coming from. Now, if I die horribly along the way, all the better. Because it'll provide you guys some entertainment. <laughs> But until then, we've just kind of got to proceed. Remember these areas for later. Yeah, nothing too important just yet. That is an enemy down there. We don't have a weapon yet. We've got to get one. Hi, give me weapon. Short sword of relatively low ech echelon. echelon. Sorry. Wow, echelon. <laughs> uh, the Tonto nails a rhythmic hum. Be patient, but never deal with hesitation. And yes, you can actually set it to change the style of the font so it's easier to read. I personally like it like this because it fits the aesthetic. And I still can read it. Ah, oh, the light for the sake of Marduk's eyes. Damn, that hurts. Yeah, I'm not going to do a voice roll thing. Uh, can you hear me? No? Yeah, an audience of one. And if I, if I was doing like proper voice acting, I would, but I'm not. This is a let's play, not a voice acting tutorial. Behold, the umpteenth failed attempt to make a grand escape from this, this sarcophagus. I know what needs to be done, but the messed up continuum around here? Never mind. Listen, I need your help. Just give me a moment to get my head straight. Meet me up ahead and I'll show you, okay? I'll explain everything. Okay, groovy. Where's up ahead? It could be either direction, really. We have this spot right here that we can actually do some stuff on. Unfortunately, we can't get further up in here. We can smash that. Or we can go the other way. And you know, generally speaking, if you're playing a Metroidvania, going the other way doesn't hurt anything. Because this other way lets us learn how to fight. Hi, guy. Oh, no! And now it's going to give us a tutorial on slide encounters. And we got perfect variety. Now, that is slightly important. We, we can overcome it later. But... For now, perfect variety just basically means you get a better ingredient from the enemy. So do keep that in mind. And there is something over here that I don't remember what. What was this? Actually, I don't think I came this way the first time. So we might be getting something that I didn't know about. No? Oh, it's just another path in here. And then there's a path up this way, apparently. Because it shows the pink... Which means that's an area we have not explored. That's intriguing to me. But yeah, anything we break right now will generally stay broken. We also have upgrades. We're not going to be able to use them right away, but I'll show you guys what how it works. Basically, whenever you come in here, come into the Cortex, memories can be unlocked. In the Cortex, each memory needs a specific amount of nutrition to be unlocked. Nutrition, and this is kind of a challenge thing, we can eat our healing items right now. I'm turning the fan so it stops being hot as hell in here. You might hear it in the background. Tough shit. But yeah, we can eat the item that dropped to get our nutrition up in various different amounts. But that's also robbing you of a healing item. Because if we press this, you can see that provides 20 health if we eat it as well. So kind of have to make that judgment call. Do you want to keep the healing items or do you want to Worry about... Hi, guy. There we go. Perfect variety. And yeah, generally, if you can eat, kill them with two... Yeah, I'm not going to eat that just yet. I need it for later. 
and that's elastic bits. These are generally going to be just decent little bits of food. Don't want to get that guy, yeah, to blow up on us. If they blow up on us, it hurts. But exploring is pretty important in this, but it does open up some interesting options. Because trying to think of how to really explain it without just showing it. Because it does have a sort of time travel but not situation. They they refer to it as loops. But what I plant in this loop changes what happens in the next loop. So we'll come over here. And I'll show something off. And this is a safe spot, by the way. I, I will be popping on them just so I don't get completely boned by things. Just so you guys are curious. But for the most part, I don't really need any of the upgrades from that. Except for maybe the projectile block. But where is our growing spot? I think we get one right here. Or is it further in? No, nah, it's further in. But yeah, we plant a tree this round. And it grows on the next loop. So I'm not sure whether it's time travel or whether it's just we like desync. Come on, guy. Ow. Oh no, we got hurt that time. Oh darn, whatever will I do? Probably not care too much because we'll just we can go right back to the healing spot and this guy will not respawn. It's not like bonfires or anything like that. It's literally they respawn on the loop, which is and no, you don't get to keep your food between loops. So this first loop generally is not going to be that much. Okay, let him do his thing. Some variety going in there. Ah, and still blood pulp. Sloppy execution of the critter. Well, darn. I don't really know how to get them to not be sloppy execution. Hi, guy. I could have sworn that I planted something in that there fertile spot, gardener, gardener. And yeah, it's basically telling us plant an item there. Our day greets you, my friend. Imagine this. I was just about to bury a delicate seed in this rich soil. But then I asked myself, gardener, you drifting cloud, didn't you sow one here already? Why, yes, you did. But I'm going to plant one. Ah, thousands of thanks, my friend. The soil and gardener are much happy again. I like gardener for some reason. He's just a nice fellow. Never too late to start anew. And we also get food out of that. And we will get food on every single loop. So that is a nice thing to have planted. Never too late to start anew. And he yeah, he'll just keep saying that. Unfortunately, we can't do anything with it this time. And yes, I have to roll under it. Because it hasn't fully grown. But on the next loop... If we get that far, you'll see that this will have actually grown taller and it'll have a thing on top of it that lets us get up to that next slot. And you can use it to open doors, you can use it to do all kinds of things. And that is another direction we can go there. I'm going to see what is... Okay, nothing else in here. Is there anything we can break? Nope. There are th breakable environment things, by the way. Like that. Can't quite reach that one. But maybe later we will. But for the most part, I find the game to be quite interesting. And let's see, map-wise, this way is... Oh, it's another save spot. I did not know this one was here. Here, gimme. I suppose I should show the actual skill tree, though. Come into the Cortex, you have sneak up enemies from enemies behind. Adds a third attack to our combo. And we can have gardens appear on the map. I think third attack might actually be kind of handy, so let's go ahead and show that one off. Let's see, I will eat that and that, and all of a sudden it's now available. We hold it, we unlock it, now we have a third attack. Sneaking up on enemies is not bad either, but it uses the pink. Now this one uses blue and orange to knock out enemy, enemy projectiles. And no, on this first loop, since we don't have the kind of like mind lock thing, Yes, there is a mind lock thing that lets you basically lock in skills between loops. We don't have that, so we can't really do much with it. 
Is that going to give me anything? Nope. It's still just bloody pulp. So it, I don't think it really matters. Ouch. What did I do to that guy? He's just going to give me bloody pulp regardless. That's to teach you a little bit of mechanics there. Go and eat that to heal up a little bit. And a second one. So see, now we're maxed out on life, and it does vanish whenever we're up in the top left. Makes it a little hard to keep track of things. I'd rather have it be... I know it looks cool up there. I can move the mouse over there. I know it looks cool up there, but I'd rather it be smaller and not vanish. But to each their own, I guess. Oh, it's our friend. Hi, guy. Come down here, little fiends. Come down here. I want to actually show off the other mechanic. You guys are making it hard to do so. Fine, I will talk to this guy. Drop down there. Hi, hi, friend. Hey, sorry for the confusion. I just had to find my bearings. This thing... Things get blurry in here, and I've been stuck since forever in a day. I'm Wallet, with eyes that spy in all directions. Forget it, just a bureau thing. Anyways, further ahead, there's a bastard of a shaman hooked to a pod. Here, have a look. And he tells you how to use the map, the map that I've already been using. And we've got to go there. This shaman bastard sustains the illusion and messes with the continuum, keeping anyone from getting out. You must go there and bash the pod real good. Getting out of here is only possible if the illusion shatters. I beg you before you lose your mind like the others. Okay. And here, you are down low. Okay, aim with that and press X to smash him. We can pop that guy into the wall and we actually get stuff from them which is cerebellums and they're kind of hard to not get the special with I think is hilarious but we'll grab this sadly we can't get in there yet in future loops you can I believe because you actually get something to unlock them so we could plant there I'm not going to then I'm going to smash this and keep moving forward because there are more plant spots than there are plant seeds. I don't know if they respawn between runs or not. And yes, you can kill things with... My guy, you are still alive up there. Come on. Oh, that was a... No, that was the same one. Let's go ahead and move to the left, and we're just checking out various things that are available, and sadly, I don't know how to get up there. Because I can't get this up high enough, like we can get there, and you'll see that- Oh! Oh! We got it! Oh my goodness, I actually got that one. I tried so many times on the game sampler one to get up there, it's probably a bit annoying to people. But now we actually get to get this guy. Oh! Hi! Oof! Ah, we just get bloody pulp from him as well. I'll eat one of those, just get myself topped off after that encounter. And down we come, and we get this. Which is the anemone... Anemnon carries a memory from the sarcophagus. Deliverance. The path to deliverance goes through trials and tribulations. Trials make us stronger, and I know I have to be stronger. I am the one to carry out the promise. I am Qualia. They're basically your story bits. One reason why I was kind of determined to get up there. But I wasn't going to have us linger on this for an hour just to get up there. That, that would be ridiculous. Yeah, you can't touch those. Those are damage, unfortunately. So we have to roll through. This, I don't know... Yeah, I know we can grab this. First bite tastes like Elysium, the second yet another cycle of temporal procreation. That thing right below us hurts. But first time I did that, I actually got hit by it because I got too close. And now we get to learn about shields. Use heavy attacks to break enemy guard. Only rarely ran into this. Got him. Gimme. So now we've got a decent amount of food in here. We've got two seeds. 
which I will use. We've got health and nutrition gains. We've got various improvements, and that is probably going to be one that I eat to improve my stuff. Do I actually have... Slightly tempted to take the projectile one. It'll make the boss easier, but... Got him. And yes, we can knock them around. So this one is one that I definitely want to do. So we're going to grab this. Controls to switch items are a little bit weird. Because I don't think I can actually just swap it with any other buttons. I have to physically open up the menu. Which kind of sucks, but it's fine. But yeah, this, I can't get up there just yet. But that'll let me hop around if I decide to come this way in a future loop. Now here... I don't think there is... Oh, wait. I think I know how I can get that. Get on this, get on you... Get on that. Grab you. Get up here. Get that other little story bit, because I didn't get that the first time. I meditate on their words, searching my heart. It brings me closer to the barrier, to the binding. They told me I was the key, the one who unlocks. I am Qualia. I am one of them. Interesting. So we are getting little bits of lore, little bits of story. We have a few paths around here that we can take. We can go... I don't know if we can actually go up high enough to get to that. Can we? Uh, let's go to that. Grab this. Jump up there. We can probably make it across this. Yes, we can. I tried dodging in time, but I failed. And that's a battered one. That's unfortunately lower quality, but it's fine. Okay, so I don't think we can do too much here. And that's just going to be, yeah, bloody bolts. Okay, so this room allows us to go up and left. Just give us more bloody bulbs. It's fine. Okay, grab those. I don't really know for sure if there's too much we can do in here. I think that looks fairly familiar. That is a smashable wall. So it, that'll probably let us... Yeah, that lets us go up. We do have a growth spot there. I don't even care that that's going to be a bloody pulp. Oh, this is the sneak up behind things and stab them. Hi. Bye. I don't think I have that available, do I? Because I didn't unlock it. Did I? No, I didn't unlock that one. So we could fight this guy just straight up. He's going to probably be a bit of a pain. Oh, yeah, we can't eat while crouching. Derp. Well, I will just eat one here, then. And three. Notice it is filling up our little bar there. I don't think I want to plant in that one. I just want to kind of wander around and see what all is available where. Because I think this is... Oh, no. Oh, yeah, I know this one. This is going to be just a journey back up this nonsense. Whoop. Get over to here. Jump on these. I do like these little... Like scales they're really cool designs 
This game is like filled with just stuff like that, where it's just like a really neat kind of interesting design. And it's very atmospheric. And yeah, it's back up here. We have the save spot right there, which we're going to, of course, take. Can't get all the way to the top of that other room. I do like that it's a an area scout. Hey, we got that one. But yeah, I like that it's the it scouts the entire room that you go into. If we go ahead and zoom out every room that we've been in until we have a transition, it scouts the entire thing, which is absolutely wonderful but you'll see that hey we come in here we save we don't end up having to worry about a bunch of stuff okay we want to go ahead and grab that so that means we need to let's eat you that opens up another option there not really I don't need gardens appearing on the map just yet I am going to eat for this one we are going to be over full on the green, unfortunately. So we'll eat the Galva yarn and that. We can knock enemy projectiles away. That'll make bosses a little bit easier. And I don't think we necessarily need anything else here. Do we have anything that uses green is the question. That does, but we don't have enough orange to really take advantage of it. It becomes very kind of like an awkward kind of juggling match to figure out what you want to grab and what you don't. And since we can't save any of these, I might as well save it for like a proper fight. I do think dashing is faster. So as far as this goes, I think the next path we take is back around and down. So up this way. And yes, we are not... Oh, maybe... Yeah, we should be able to get that. Yeah, we can. Our jumping ability is not actually that terrible starting out. We do get more movement tech later on, though. I don't know if fall damage is a thing. I have not experimented with it. I'm wagering it's not. Okay. Oh, we, we have a room to the right here as well down here buddy buddy I want to kill him because he's gonna give me a drop there you go okay so this guy's gonna come in here slap slap roll ouch Countered him. Oh, we got another battered one, unfortunately. That sucks, Nugs. How are we looking on our... Oh, we're getting close to him. I don't think we necessarily want to go straight for it. Although, you know what? That might actually change things up for me. Because I went another route the first time. So if you guys want to see that route, you can check out Game Sampler. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so we want to plant seeds. Was that the was that the only one I had? Okay, that's fine. I haven't planted in this one before. Oh yeah, we can break books. In case you guys were curious. That will let us move up if we go this way on the next run is so map-wise, we still have down left over there. We have to the right over here. I think mm, we'll pass on going to the right yet. There's another save spot. We also get one of you. So this will heal us. This does all that kind of fun stuff. Okay, so eating. I don't think we have anything that does a lot of orange. I mean, that does. Okay, quick double kick. I haven't gone up this way very much. Probably because we don't have the stuff for it. 
Let's see, blue and orange. I don't think we have anything that does a lot on both of those that without doing something else. Nope. Drop food in the soil, turn it into compost. Process takes one loop. I wonder. Can we get that? Yes, we can. I haven't used this one. Looks poison depending on the yug nutrition level. You know what? We, I don't think we can get enough blue to do that. So get that, and our yug is going to be gone pretty much, I think. But as we eat stuff, it'll go up. Increased speed of eating, max health is increased. So this seems to be like the health branch. This seems to be the kind of like the combo branch. Down here is the damage and kind of projectile branch. I don't know why that one's there. But yeah, it's kind of an interesting just mix of things. It's very strange. But it's very... When I was looking at the thumbnails, in because I requested a key, but they had... They sent me the key, and I was looking at the thumbnails in it. In the, like, preview Im images before requesting a key. But it looked like it would be hard to read while playing. It's really not. Okay, so you go there. We... We drop that there. I don't know how we turn it into compost. Drop food in the soil to turn it into compost. Process takes one loop. I don't know. We're just going to move on then. And figure it out later. It does not explain itself very well. That just that looks like some kind of weird sci-fi room. And I happen to know we're in a spaceship. Break all the things. And then... The thing that triggers it all. Hi, guy. How you doing? The, te the Tenebra Caligrum is a tool used by the Baryan Shamasal in their cleansing ritual. It has pro popularly become known as the Extractor. Although not intended, its more nimble users can use it to double jump. Hello, who is there? You there, Sojourner, how did you get... Impossible. From the imprints of N Naus, through the shadows, the Tenebra Caligrum binds... To those chosen. But they trusted me with the calling. Keep teleporting around, see what it does for you. I am Qualia, called of the Shamasal, Chalice of Beria. I am the Chalice. I... Uh, I need to go. It is bound to us, so now we have double jumps. <laughs> it is no longer bound to you, and also we have... Oh, we don't actually have that yet. So we can use the double jump to go back up there. I think the door back here gets locked, unfortunately. So we can't explore that side to the left, although we probably could have gone there before. Yeah, it kind of restricts you on the first loop. It to kind of force you into doing stuff. See, it's locked. No. So we can't go back to the cool spot. But we can go forward. And yes, these don't look like they should be jumpable, but they are. At least they were. Oh, it's up on top of that. Okay. I don't feel like they should be able to be gone through because other things are kind of an issue and we can't actually roll through there. Other things that look like that are a problem. How could it bind to her? Is she here to replace me? Pull yourself together, Qualia. Breathe, breathe. No, don't breathe. We don't want to have to fight you. Why are you following me? Stay away. Because we are evil. We're here to destroy you. <laughs> I think we are supposed to follow the purple, but unfortunately, the purple causes problems. Hi, enraged beast. This guy took me 
sadly a bit too long to figure out. But mostly it's just dodge the crap it spits, dodge the stuff coming from the ceiling, and hit the crap on its back. The giant glowing weak spot. Dodge, dodge! Okay, so we'll go ahead and eat. Ow, I was trying to eat there, you jerk. Yeah, anytime we're on its back, it gets very angry at us. And yeah, unfortunately, it's armored, so it's a royal nightmare to actually get anything else going on it. Come on. Come at me, bro. And our goal is... Oh, I was trying to roll through that. Yuck. Oh, that felt so stupid. Yes, it is possible to do this without getting hit. I am just bad. Come at me, bro. Ha ha. Eat. And yes, eating does take time. See, we can get out of there without getting hit. We can even get on its back and hit it here, too, if we want to. I don't know how many more it has left. It looks like it still has two left. Come after me, bro. Yeah, just take it slow and easy. You can actually get through them all. If I wanted to be not a derp, I could actually deal with it this way. I could deal with it faster as well. So we've got two of them down. I think there's one more back behind that, by the way. Come at me, bro. Summon some stalagmites. Get up there and shoot at me. Eat. I don't even care what I'm eating. It's just, let's fill those bars up because we're going to eventually be using them. I do like that it still counts towards your nutrition, even if... Yeah, it counts towards your nutrition, even if you're just using it straight for healing. But die, you fool. And yes, we can shove it over here so we can get up out of here. You need it to get up out of the zone. You have to use its immortal shell get up there okay so as far as items we have we do not have a thing to cause growth there we can go back left here but I think it's blocked off no it gives us another one so what we can do yeah I don't think there's anywhere else we'd want to plant it so I'll go ahead and plant it here just get ourselves another one of those items. Because we can. I don't remember what size it grows on. I think it's this side. Nope. Thank you for the growth. And yes, we can break that. I don't know what breaking stuff does. It doesn't seem to drop any items. And this does not let us go through there like this. So we ha we basically have to do this, which is unfortunate, but... Ta-da! Story bits! Brrr, the faces, the wobbly lines, the creepy, surreal environment. What will we do? Besides, get ourselves an improved little umbilical guy. 
But yeah, I'm glad that it's not as hard to read what's going on as I thought it did from the screenshots. Because that, that was one of my biggest fears. So now it's able to do this little glowy thing, which I think is how you get rid of annoying crap. Which is the black fog. The incubator! You myopic fool! The cathectic transference has been disrupted, meaning that... The birthing has begun. No time to waste! The red eyes. What did it for me? It's locked! Yeah, now we can't go back to where we actually saw that before. Unfortunately. Yeah, it can suck those walls away. And make it so we can actually, you know, explore things. If I would have saved one for here, we could have actually planted it there. But unfortunately, I did not. Okay, map-wise... Yeah, we're east of that. We're in the motherhood zone. So we can kind of just venture around as much as we want, but we want to come to this. Go ahead and spend our food and upgrades, because why the hell wouldn't we? Cortex. Let's go down here. Certain tiny creatures will not leave your side. I don't know what that does, but we'll try it. Okay, so what can we unlock? We can unlock you. Increase the speed of eating. Sure. I just like seeing what else it unlocks. Asmore hits the slide retaliation counter. Okay, so nothing in there. And you can see how it's kind of like the square that forms there. The little brains in the top right will let us actually lock those in. And unfortunately, the preview version, since this is not the full release, only has about two hours of content in it. Otherwise, I would show off more. Oh no, our tether has broken. Bring back my umbilical demon. Oh, it's doing something. We're getting sucked in. Weirdo goes down the hole. So trippy. And if you're wondering what's doing the kick thing, if I press up while I'm jumping, it does that. If I press down, it does a spiral, or left or right, it does a spiral. And yes, there is a combo system, so if you slash... Yeah, it, it the combat is a lot more complex than it looks, and I haven't gotten to fully experiment with it. I quit... Quahog? Co I don't remember your name. You dare enter the humid crib? The insolence... Stand back, Sojourner. Finally, the metamorphosis has commenced. My part in the ushering my destiny forthwith. The red, red eyes are disturbing. I'm just gonna say, oh, you have three eyes as well. Damn it. You are with them. Although it looks like it has a fourth eye in there too. Dun, 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 dun. Everything's turning weird colors. It's trippy. This is oddly enough giving me freaking hell point vibes for some reason. Like I'm expecting there to be like a blue sun somewhere and a black hole. But no, it's a green sun and a planet. But as you can see, one of them has changed. The cycle begins anew. Let our quiet mycelium lament the unrest and return to what once was. Return to what once was! Forget the evil. And that's the Ultras logo, and then it's green, and now it's shattered circles. We go back in time! Or we do another loop. Ba da da da! Wake up. Hey! Hey, listen. Listen. No. This might look familiar. Wake up. Okay. 
What is with me in time loop games lately? I mean, this and in Sea of sea and Stars is just... No, in Stars and Time, I believe, is what it was called. Yeah. We, have, we can relive some of those moments. We don't have our weapon anymore. We actually have to continue doing this the way we did. But it shows recognition of, hey, guess what? We knew that was going to happen. It didn't lock me into it. And theoretically, we should be able to smash that. If we can find our way up there. But we get story. With thousand eyes I see, with thousand bubbles I shape the dream foam to remember everything. My tendrils shiver for this terma. Abraxas guide my hands to unearth what lies beneath the sarcophagus's delusive surface. This wayward container of Baryan origin. Hopefully the pilgrims and whatever roamers that might reside here are receptive, or at least keep to their own. Unfortunately, I don't think we can get back up there. Although we do remember the map. That might be handy. And I think we might be able to... We do things right. We might be able to smash through there and get that cleared out. By that, I mean this. I don't think we're going to be able to get double jump and get back here, though. We can try. So I have a feeling that's the final boss. And each time we go through, we get plants and stuff like that that's going to alter our ability to go through the areas. For better or for worse. Now let's see if I can remember where the brains are. One smashed and two smashed. Yeah, there's actually two smashed if you look up in the top right. There's actually two of them that are broken. See that one right there? I think that's us. Just a hunch. Here's our weapon. Hi, guy. Whoa, that was something. Are you okay? Hard to say with that visor. Is this the continuum fixed? I don't know. I'm not sure how it's supposed to feel. Wait, that body. I remember. So she kept her promise, of course, like a true huntress. Guess I won't be leaving after all. But you still can. Yes, something must have changed. We need to explore this further. You have to go back to that, that demon. Oh no. We have to go back. Perfect variety. Let's see. As far as the map goes, I don't think we actually went this way last time. So we'll show this off. Yeah, it's a slightly different path. We will eventually get where we want to go. Oh. Thankfully, items do survive. And these guys are not too terribly difficult, but if you get lazy, you will get smacked by them and they do damage. So, yeah. Okay, do we actually have a seed? We do. So if we put a seed here... Let's go ahead and plant that one. It's not going to let us get up here, but... It's going to let us move that way in a future loop. So I'm, I'm wagering there's eventually going to be somebody who does like a strategy guide as to what order you're supposed to do those in, but I am not such a person. I am a build kind of person, not a strategy guide kind of person, sadly. I've tried in the past, but I have failed horribly. What is this way? I think it's just the one guy. Yeah, this is just up to the seed, and I don't know if the seed comes back. We can check, though.
Just getting all the little bits of flesh along the way. So we can upgrade stuff in just a moment. And I don't know if there's a carry capacity. Because I haven't ran into it yet. We may eventually find it. No, that puts another seed there. So we can get as many of those as we want. So that, that's a good thing. So if we wanted to, just in a few runs, we'd have enough to go through. And I don't know if there's a... I think there might actually just be a limited number of loops you can take. And that just determines your ending. But I could be wrong. Okay, as far as the path we can take through... Um, let's see... Yeah, there's not too many alternate paths we can take through. It looks like these guys are high- oh no, that one's still- As I take unnecessary damage, it's fine. I do wonder why they're shielding their eyes though. Yeah, it's just more bloody pulp. I don't know what I'm supposed to do to actually get theirs. Yoink. But now you can see this one that we planted. Let's just take an alternate path. There's even a bouncy house. <laughs> it's great. So we could go up there and go that way. I need to be careful not to go past the point of no return because I want to see what happens if we go back the same path we already took. Although, a door could close behind me at any time. Which is a distinct possibility. There's one of the brains. Ah, while you sleep, the mycelium can attach itself to a cortex memory and allow it to persist over loops. During the regenerative phase, the mnemonic mycelium creates an appendix to the main guiding tunnel, leading to the damaged axons, coated with my... Mnemonic foam originating from an irregularity in the myelin protein, the appendix releases a cloud of nanoparticles that penetrates the hippocampus. Though the veil of perception... Oh, yeah, it's through the veil of perception. Currents run blind. And yes, we can pop those. I don't know what that yellow ring is. But now we have this. We can actually come in here, and we can unlock stuff and lock them in. So let's go ahead and... Oh, we have ghost ones as well. Go ahead and see. Do we have anything to eat for that? Not really. Oh, and it needs orange? Don't have anything for orange. If we come in here, it's just going to automatically place it in there. But we could actually just pop it back out as well. Which is fine by me. So off we go. Do I? Oh, this is the gardener. Hi, gardener. Gardener's garden. And we get a bit of fruit. The multicolored musica is a cl cluster growing pepo fruit, rich in folate and potassium. It is a distant relative to the more pomologically prominent Bamana fruit. Curled up the soft typed hue. Ah, be greeted, my friend. So happy your trail led to my garden. Gardener's tree is much magnificent. Mm -ja. You must try a fruit so delicious. Have a seed, my friend. Maybe you will grow a beautiful tree someday. So we can also get this kind of plant. I don't know if we can actually destroy old plants or not. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant one here. Why? Because I can. And that can give me more of those fruits. It's not going to give them to me this time, but... That's just yet another tree, and it, it takes forever for this one to grow. I don't know why. Oh, it did grow a fruit this time. I'll be damned. It didn't grow it the last time I planted it, but I planted it in a different location. And I partially wonder if it will end up doing one of those things where it will disappear if it's in a wrong spot. Which would probably, like, help, but... Actually, get up there? No, I don't think I can. 
Yeah, I can't double jump without the little dude. But now I think we can get the orange for that. Because I think these are going to be... Yeah, those give us some orange. You can see we didn't go down this way, so we can't get any of the like interesting things down this way. There's actually damage down beneath us. Okay, and this guy needs pink. So as we come down here, hides your scent making you seem less of a threat to enemies. Depends on hawk nutrition, which we have plenty of, but we need a bit of the others to get it. And certain tiny creatures will hesitate to leave your side. I don't know what that one does for us. You actually have a path up here to the top left as well. I don't remember all the different locations we can go. Oh, it's gears. Okie dokie, that's fine. Let's see what happens if we go get the little bungee guy again. Now, on the Game Sampler one, I went ahead and just kept going to the right here. If you want to see that, check out Game Sampler. I'm not commentating over it, but you guys can check it out if you think that might be of interest to you. Okay, and this one has a downward path. Unfortunately, they don't say open between loops. Down we go. Surprisingly sweet. Oh, we can actually get those from those guys. And he just gives me bloody pulp on that one. Go! Did we actually come this way before? I don't think we did. Oh, it's another fruit. Oh, yeah, we did come this way because we weren't able to break the dark shadow thingies. We came this way before. And also, I was waiting forever for those guys to just come down so I could actually hit them. Because that's where Tentacle Face was. Let's go ahead and get back up here. And yeah, the little story bits go away. So we have three of those now. Goodness gracious. I guess we need to start planting them. And no, we can't do anything down there yet. I have a feeling we eventually will. It, it, oh, oh, goodness gracious, we can't go back this way? Oh, that's kind of neat. The area became overgrown with the loops. That's cool. So that kind of like locks you out of it on the old paths. That means this is a lot less of a Metroidvania than I thought. <laughs> Which is mildly unfortunate, but it's it's fine. I think the alt... Oh, we could actually plant one here. I think the alternate route is... Let's see... Gardener's Garden. So we'd have to find a way down? I don't think there is one. Unfortunately. So we'll just grab this fruit and be on our way. We want that on our bar. We're only slightly damaged. It's not a big deal. Oh, wait. What is this one? Oh, we can plant one there, too. I don't know... Oh, maybe? Uh, I don't know. Give me your fruit as well. And this one goes... Oh, that's another save spot there. Might as well take it. We do get a... It is possible to get multiple brains on this first one, because I did get two of them. But I am going to save here, just to be safe. Ah, uh, let's see. And they, it, I might release the other one at the same time as this. We'll see, because I'll be kind of cross-referencing them. The cerebellum. Let's go ahead and eat those. 
get a little bit on those and grab that. So there is increased attack power. There's the throw button aims when throwing food and seeds. Not going to bother with that. We will keep some stuff for healing just in case we need it. But it is an interesting balancing match. Do I want to eat that food to get an upgrade now? Or do I want to save it for healing and then upgrade later? Because if I use it for healing, not that big of a deal. It still gets added to my food reservoir. Although, if you use them willy-nilly, you'll end up overcapping. Which kind of sucks. I do wonder how these grow, like, several loops in. I do wonder what hap- like, if you can enter a loop without killing one of the things. Because if you can't, then it's going to be a situation where you end up with only seven loops possible. Which in and of itself is kind of interesting. So off to the right we go. Do we have another one? Yes, we do. Might as well. Give me more fruit. What side is the flower going to be on? I think it's going to be on the right. Nope, it's on the left. I'm bad at guessing that. Got one. Bloody Pulp and a Diptera. Come here. And yes, they do retain damage if I cross this, like, a screen. So if I were to drop down that hole, it would still stay damaged. Which is actually kind of cool. So plant one there as well. Might as well get that. Just eating the tendrils. So we're getting up there on the gear. On the food, that is. Okay, this path, we have the stingy things there. And no, we can't break them with the angry shot. Okay, map-wise, I don't think we can get up there. No, we can't. We'd need, like, a double or even a triple jump to do that. Give me your food. That's another save spot. I'm gonna take it. Let's see, map-wise, I think we missed something. Maybe. No, I don't think we did. For some reason, I'm thinking there was a back path where we could actually get additional brains. Ah, oh, hello again, my friend. Gardener usually keeps close to his garden. But there are so many strange and beautiful patches around here. Oh, you've happened upon one of those jumbles of machinery. Mm -hmm. Looks complicated, but all those components make it brittle. I bet just about any plant could break this barrier in moments. But the only good planting spot here seems to be up there in that ceiling. Oh, think you can juggle this seat up there? Give it a swing. Yes, you can juggle backwards. Whoa, nice moves. Now let's just wait a moment and... Oh, it gave us a fruit. So close. Don't worry, this happens to Gardener all the time. Our little plant just doesn't have enough of a root system to support more growth right now. But I'm sure, and basically, in future loops it will. So we'll just have to wait a few months or so. How exciting. Found and cultivated in abundance of all over the orchard. Its high nutritional value, unfortunately, comes with a bland taste and texture. Mushy berry, it feels like eating a cloud. Well, I'll be damned. I can grab the tentacle. Next season, we'll know what's beyond. Sweet. So those give me green and orange. So we, we, we have a lot of food. Okay, so path here. We want to go... Let's go with the bottom one. It looks like it's going to be just like an isolated room. Bio memory unit is booting up. 
Scan suggests subject has new memory imprints. Corrupt memory one? Oh, it's a way to view the cinematics. Interesting. I like. Accounts of an operative. Burdens of Chalice. Interesting. So it, it's an easy way to view all the stuff that you've gathered. Thank you for considering that game. I appreciate it. There's been so many games lately where it's like, we only want you to experience it the first time you run across it. It's like, I might need a refresher in case I don't get to play it right away. Oh, hello. Uh, have we met before? That helmet, your face. Forgive me for staring. I Something about the plants around this patch stirs my awareness. Do you feel anything? Maybe a psychosomatic reaction. Shapes or shadows like forgotten memories. No? I am sorry. I must be on my way. Got another brain. Give me your brains. Yeah, I could just sit here and play through the entire game a few times. Got him. <laughs> I was just a little bit lucky there. Yeah, it looks like there is a way up to the top part as well. Okay, so this room, I think, is... What the hell is going on there? I don't think I can get across there. Okay, so we have right and we have down. You shall not enter. Okay, so I guess it's right. Only way we can go. Hopefully we don't suffocate. Yeah, it doesn't look like we can suffocate down here. We also cannot drop through that. And our, our attack speed down here is... It's not as bad as it, I thought it felt. It felt like it was delayed. Did we get bloody pulp from both of them, or did that other one... Nope. I guess we just got bloody pulp from both of them. That looks like it's a problem there. Okay, so that's where we're heading. That's the memory cube. I don't know why it doesn't just default to the world map, honestly. But I can only imagine how big the full game is going to be. With all of this considered. Because this is literally just kind of like a playtest. Uh, that's a battered one. It's another dead end room. Hmm. I have a feeling that's going to be something on a future loop. Hi, big guy. I literally only just straight up attacked them. Let's go ahead and eat one of those. Guess we just keep venturing around left and right. That's the Gajamio Refinery. Not sure what's in there. There's another thing where we can unlock some stuff and actually use our brain. So I think... Let's go ahead and unlock this one. Oh, we had, yeah, that one can just do little bits on each of them. So now we increase our attack power. We'll put a brain in there. As far as things that we can unlock, let's go ahead and eat for that one. 
I don't like that I actually have to unlock everything on each run, but with the brains, we can kind of help a little bit with that. So that one, that one, and that one again. Oh, I didn't mean to exit. No, I have to go through the entire animation again. <sighs> go and grab that one and see what it unlocks. Nothing! But these are kind of like shadows because they're just one step away. So we could... Theoretically, yeah, we can unlock that without having to unlock the one before it. We can increase our speed of eating. It's the slide retaliation counter. Max health is increased. Okay. There's, there's a lot of stuff we can do. Just kind of like by floating around this and unlocking things each run. So it kind of makes those ghosts. Which I think is kind of neat. Although we have been going for a bit over an hour. I'm going to keep going a little bit longer because I'm curious. Okay, so gears. We can't do anything with that. Do we actually... Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, we don't have any seeds. Otherwise, I could plant something there and possibly get that ready to bash through next time. And this looks like we are going back. Waiting connection. So I think what we do is we go back to the bad place. And yeah, that's the bad place. I want to see what else is... Oh. So we really have no choice. Yeah, each of those... This is a waiting connection. Wallet, you turtin genius. I knew it. I knew it. These brujo. Oh, it took you long enough. No sweat. I figured everything out. It was so obvious it didn't even cross my mind. Look here, you chatterbox. There's more of them. We need to find all seven of those unimaginative mouth breathers. Two paths seem to be open. Through the rotten orchard. Orchard? Orchard. Orchard. Yeah, it's orchard. Or the huntress domain. Interesting. It looks like there's another one up there. Ah. So it is it's like the oh, I'm trying to remember what they're called in Hollow Knight. The masks. The guardian kind of things. So that's about how big the world is gonna be. That's kind of nice. There's like little glowy bits here and there that are throwing me off as well. You know the old saying about a thing with feathers? Oh, Suzerain, look at me now. I take this outlander by the wing and lead her to... Oh. Well, he's nuked now. You look different. Fear not, Sojourner. I vanquished the aberrated specter. It must have been remnant from the uh, cathectic transference. Maybe a mnemonic manifestation? Oh well, now that's gone, you can go about your way. Good thing I spotted you in the living quarters. We get him back. Depleted of undesired mental activities. Warning. The Ultra's Humicrib storage is at maximum capacity. Ah, so that's how we unlock the additional double jumps. Neat. And now we can dispel those dark spots. I have a feeling we get a reset each time we stomp one of those guys. But things grow. So cool. 
Okay, I'm looking forward to the release of this. Whenever it comes out, I will almost definitely be reviewing it if they send me a review key. This is just a preview key, unfortunately. So it's not going to go onto the main channel. It's going to stay here for now. I'll send them links to this and the other one so they can see that, hey, I am interested in covering it and I'm enjoying it. Send me a press key so I can try it, the full version when it releases. But I'm enjoying it. So, yeah. Definitely put this on your watch list. I'll put a link to it down in the description. But considering how long we've been playing, keep gaming, have fun, peace out, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.